Well, hey guys, it's Michael here. You may be wondering what I'm holding in my hand here. I came up with this idea about a year ago. It's an electromagnetic grinding station. Basically, you turn it on and parts are stuck to it. You can grind. And you turn it off. There you go. So if you're interested to see how to build one of these things, stick around and check out the video, guys. All right, to start off with a simple project, we got a piece of plywood to cut down, a two amp little power supply, some rubber feet for the bottom of it, a little on off switch, and I got two electromagnetic, I think they're used for door locks. I'll put all the lists below on uh, Amazon links to all these parts. I got them a long time ago, so I can't remember the proper name for them. All right, let's get building this thing. I'm not a big fan of glue gun, but once again, I'm going to bust it out on this project here. It's going to be a simple way to hold a switch into the body of the wood. Should work just fine. All right, so time to put the feet on and finish this thing up. I cut a little aluminum plate here. It's going to go on the bottom, protect the wires. So we're going to install this next. got a little thin scrap of uh, steel on here and you guys can check it out I'm gonna turn it on here there we go I turned it off pretty cool all right as you guys know I don't do much woodworking in my welding metal shop but I uh, got all the sawdust cleaned out of here now we can make a few sparks grinding on this I'm only going to be wearing safety goggles. I usually wear a respirator and ear protection, but this is just a demonstration. So, put this piece on here. Turn it on.
you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is uh, one of those things I think I'll be using quite a bit. I mean, I might make a little grinding spot dedicated for this, but it's so portable and simple I can bring it along anywhere in the shop and plug it in. Or if I'm working on an articulating truck and want to grind some parts, I can just sit, have it sitting in the back. Pretty simple. And down below in the description, there will be a link to Amazon where I got most of these parts and pieces if you want to build one yourself. I can't remember the total cost. I'll put it over here somewhere when I recalculate it. Like I said, I bought all these parts about a year ago. Uh, just one thing led to another. I got started on the articulating dump truck and these went on the back burner. Basically, I saw them in my shop when I was cleaning it up today and thought, I gotta get that thing together. I'm tired of seeing them sitting in the corner. Oh, and one other thing, I'll plug a little bit of some sweatshirts and t-shirts. I announced these in one of the last videos. I think that video got about 100,000 views on it so far. And I wanna thank the one guy that actually bought a sweatshirt. Thank you. I think I know who you are because I think you left a comment saying you're going to buy one. I think you followed through with it. So thank you for the one guy. If you guys are interested in um, supporting the channel a little bit, think about buying a t-shirt or sweatshirt. Helps pay for these projects a little bit easier. I pay all these things out of my own pocket. So think about that and leave a comment and a thumbs up and consider subscribing guys. All right, until next time, take care. Bye.